Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. I kinda woke up with just like half an hour ago. I washed my face, I gave Bella food, and I strained my hair. So now I'm gonna get ready for the day. Today is Friday and I have a lot of things to do today. So I just wanted to do a get ready with me and then also uh, it's gonna be a talk through. So first I'm going to start by moisturizing my face and I'm going to be using this hydrating face cream from Bobbi Brown. This has been, oh my god, my favorite face cream at the moment. I feel like even though I am combination to oily skin, um, lately I've been kind of dry I think because of the weather. Because this, um, mo this moisturizer is more like hydrating. So it really hydrates your face. It doesn't leave your face oily, so I think if you're oily skin, it'll be fine for you guys. I just feel like you just feel so hydrated. Your face feels so soft. I just, I just love it. Can you guys see Bella in the background? <laughs> Bella! Look at her, she's so cute. I love her. Okay. Then I'm just gonna apply my under eye cream. It's also from Bobbi Brown. This eye cream, um, it's like whatever, it's not really, I don't really see a difference using this eye cream. What kind of eye I want to do today, I'm going to see what comes out, but to be honest, I don't really know how I want to do my makeup. So I already did my eyebrows off camera just because this takes the longest to do. And they look a little bit weird right now just because I have nothing on. Like I have no foundation or anything. But um, I'm going to start with my eyes. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Like honestly, I'm just going to start putting eyeshadows and see what comes out. I really don't know what to do. I have kind of an idea, but not really. So I'm going to start by priming my eyes. And I'm going to be using this one from MAC. It's the um, Soft Oak Grit. And I'm just going to apply that. So I kind of want to try to use today the Too Faced Peach Palette, um, Sweet Peach Palette because I've been wanting to try it, but I don't know what colors I want to use and it looks like this. I just got this palette. I just got this palette. If you guys um, have seen my what I got for Christmas, I got this for Christmas because I also kind of want to use the one from Anastasia. The modern renaissance I kind of want to do this one I might just use both of them I'm gonna start with the transition color you see from the Anastasia palette and this one is the modern renaissance I'm gonna be using this color as my transition color I'm gonna bring it down almost to my lid and I just put it on my crease just because I think I am gonna do kind of like a smoky eye so that's why I'm bringing it more down to my lid Mainly applying it first on my crease and then I'm just applying it down to my lid. <music> now to make it a little bit more darker, my crease, I'm going to be applying this color and this is from the Sweet Peach Palette. Palette, I'm gonna be using this color right here. I'm gonna start with my face and um, I'm gonna come back to the eyes later. But if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys know I've been telling you guys that I've been trying a new way of doing my everyday foundation. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you guys should. And I'll leave my Snapchat name on below so you guys can follow me there. So basically what I've been doing first, and I've been using this Naked Concealer from Yervin Decay. And this one I have tried it before. I really like it. I don't really like it for under my eyes. I feel like it's too lightweight. 
but I like it to conceal like redness or anything else that I want to conceal. This is a color medium light. And so what I've been doing lately is basically, as you guys see, I have a lot of redness on my face. And I don't really like to use like the green primers or the yellow primers, like all of that. Like I just feel like it's too much for my face. I'm too light skin and I just don't like using it. I do sometimes, but it's rare. Um, so what I would do is like I just put little spots of the concealer. Whatever I really feel like I have a lot of redness. So basically this is what I do. And I feel this way I don't have to use like a lot of foundation afterwards. Or I could get away with like a lightweight foundation. And then I just grab my beauty blender and then I just start blending that. What I like about this concealer, since it's so lightweight, it's not heavy on your skin, so you don't feel like you have anything on. You just go to see like the difference, like it already covers so much of my redness. Now the foundation I've been doing for every day is the Naked Foundation from Urban Decay. I've tried this foundation before, but for some reason before I felt like it was not like a full coverage. And I usually like something that is full coverage, but now since I'm doing the concealer first and then I apply this after, I feel like it works perfectly. So I'm just gonna be applying that on my face. And I like to do little dots. And also I've been doing my um, everyday foundation routine. I've been using the Beauty Blender instead of a brush. Before I used to use a brush and I feel like now with the Beauty Blender it looks so much flawless, so much like skin like. I don't know why it took me forever to use my Beauty Blender to do my whole foundation routine. But I've been using my Beauty Blender. And right now my Beauty Blender is not completely damped, it's a little bit damped. Just because sometimes when it's super damp, I feel like it takes away um, this foundation. It basically doesn't really get the coverage that I want. It goes more with like a sheer coverage. Do you guys see how seamless, how more natural it looks? It's like more like an everyday that I would do. So now what I do after I apply one layer foundation, if I still feel like I need a little bit more coverage with this foundation, I could go get away with it just because it's so light and you will still won't feel it. So what I do is like I just do a little bit of dots again. Usually on my cheeks is where it's more red and it's where I, ha I need more coverage. I would just basically apply a little bit more there. And once again blend with my beauty blender. I seriously am loving this foundation so, so much. Then I like to set my foundation. Um, if I wanted to go more for like that glowy skin, I could leave it like this. But I feel like for that foundation to last me a little bit longer, I need to set it. And I'm using this powder from MAC. And this one is the Studio Fits. So I mainly just put it like on my cheeks. I get really shiny by my nose. I don't know why. For concealer, I'm going to be using this one from Tarte. I've been trying this for a couple of weeks already. This one is a light medium and it's a shape tape. I honestly wish I have got a lighter color so I could do conceal and highlight at the same time. But in Ulta, they didn't have a lighter color. This concealer sells out so fast. So basically, I use this one to just conceal under my eyes. I do like that it has like the big, I don't know, brush because I feel like it just grabs really well. I just blend with my Beauty Blender. To highlight, I'm going to be using this one from Sephora. I'm almost done with this. I need to, I want to finish it. This one is in the shade Custer. This one's really good and they're not even expensive. I, I would recommend this one. So I'm just going to highlight with this one. Like I said, I'm almost done with this. So... I need to really, I need to really dig in there to get more out of it. 
And I'm just gonna set under the eyes. And I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. As you guys know, I love this powder to set everything under my eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that powder under my eyes for a little bit and now I'm gonna start doing the fun part which contour and bronze. I love doing that just because <sighs> there's no dimension on my face right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using my Kavon D palette. This is my favorite palette ever. And I'm gonna be bronzing with this color right here and then contouring with this color right there. I love that palette, seriously. I've tried so many different palettes and nothing comes close to my Kevin Lee palette. Like, nothing comes close to it. The skies, see the heavens clearer. I could change your mind. No, I'm not really saying the brushes that I'm using. Just because um, I'm trying to get ready fast. If you guys have a question of the brush that I'm using, just let me know in the comments below and I'll let you guys know. I'm going to be using this blush from MAC and this one is the See Me, Hear Me. It's um, a limited edition blush. So now I'm just going to remove. The powder under my eyes. So I'm just going to apply some highlight right now and I'm going to be using, this is my favorite, favorite highlight ever palette. Like this is just my everything. So I'm going to be using the colors that I always use is this one and this one I always mix those two together. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? It's like the best highlight ever. And I like to apply so much highlight. It's not even funny sometimes I need to like stop applying highlight. Just need to let it go. Okay, so now I forgot to contour my nose. I'm gonna contour my nose. <laughs> Ever, um, spray to set everything uh, I'm gonna do a wing liner I feel like I need a wing liner and I'm gonna be using my Angola 77 and my angle brush from Mac and this one is a 208 I always use those two together you guys already know <laughs> lip color and I'm using this one is from Knits and it's on the name Teddy. This color I think will look good with these eyes. Okay guys so I'm all done getting ready. I hope you guys did like this kind of videos where I show you guys how I get ready for my everyday um I try to do as fast as I can, but it does take me forever to get ready. Come here. Bella wants to come out in the video, so... Come on. Come out. Say hi. Say hi. Say thank you for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye.